good morning everybody. Just brought Jenna and Bill to the airport. And uh, just wanted to capture this moment coming into the gate. One last time this trip. It was an awesome two weeks. just to bring it back and hop in the car and head to Atlanta tonight. It's a lot of fun staying in the cabins. I'm very sad. For anybody who was wondering, this is how simple returning the cart is. Please park returning carts here and place key in the box over here. Just like that. I guess vacation's over. Sarah parked over there and is waiting for me. I'm not sure what I feel right now, but it's not the best. I know that but we're gonna have a good ride um, today. Hopefully a good ride tomorrow too. Today's a short one. It's weird, we usually do the longer stretch on the first day, but with driving, um, gonna end go to the airport and whatnot. Um, we didn't get on the road at like six or seven, which we would have usually made it to Nashville or somewhere today, but we're just gonna go to Atlanta. So it's not too long, a late of a drive today. We got the main sign coming up. We'll get some fast food before we hit the actual road. And right here, Mickey Mouse says it himself. See you real soon. Our stop in Gainesville has divulged into a pouring chaos. I also decided since like we're probably gonna go back because you can't live on like on vacation all the time. But I got us some Tabasco Slim Jims and Reese's bars. James got a bottle, had a break, back on his car seat, ready to go. Let's get out of the Florida. <laughs> Is he sad? Oh. Chaos continues. We did just get new windshield wipers. Peter says. You actually didn't say this, but I'm hopeful that we'll stop if you feel like we need to. Oh, yeah. That's a given. Well, we got fresh tires, fresh windshield wipers. We're good. Well, we ended up taking an unexpected little break for Eve and for James again. Um, but we finally made it out of Florida, and this is the Georgia Welcome Center. It's kind of old southern stately. But James is looking better. You ready? A few more hours? It feels like the longer drive, even though it's not the longer drive. <laughs> nice traffic at the beginning. <laughs> we had a bunch of traffic, and then the traffic ended up with a bunch of storms. So it took us like five hours to get out of Florida. No bueno. No bueno. This baby has not snoozed a little bit, but is chewing on this. I think he's got some teeth coming in. More chewing on his banana. But look, we serendipitously stopped at this fancy new giant Bucky's here in it, in Georgia off 75. It's massive, absolutely massive, like a gazillion pumps. Um, what kind of gas station can you buy smokers at? We are in the south, that is for sure. Look at this pit. That was the most overwhelming thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. But I'm gonna send Sarah in and grab her to ask her to grab some Bucky beaver nuggets and a pulled pork sandwich and maybe some fudge and I don't know, that was I couldn't do it. I couldn't walk it. I think I got some audio of how the chaos that it sounded like in there, but woo, go to Bucky's. I wanted to clarify, I didn't mean to say anything in a negative connotation about Bucky's. I just knew it to be a large gas station. And I didn't realize that it was basically Publix meets Walmart meets amusement park. Board, more like a boardwalk because it had like the fudge stand and a cutting table making southern barbecue pulled pork sandwiches and clothes. And like there was like a blacksmith in there like making knives. I 
like to go back in when we don't have a puppy with us to like spend 30 minutes in there. Unless puppies are allowed in there, they might be. But I just sent Sarah in there and I was like, whatever you do, just take a left at the bathrooms and grab me a pulled pork sandwich and a bag of beaver nuggets, whatever those are. But that was something. Was that, something else. was that something? Woo! You got two bags. It was too, I couldn't even go and look at everything because it was too much. I said we'll have to come back when we don't have a puppy so we can stay in there for like 30, 40 minutes. Oh my gosh, yeah. What I wanted wasn't like hot and ready. Oh. Um, But it's cool that there's hot and ready stuff, but I got something good, but like, Whoa. we have so much. I know. <laughs> and gotta, like, I'm like bewildered. I know. This is, this is, you watch it and it's just like sound like chaos. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> it's like the episode of New Girl where like there's a snowstorm. Yeah, the day that's what it was. That's what I was trying to think of. Or like the airport is just like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that was. I'm like, that was crazier than Disney World. <laughs> hey Eve, you got your paw on my Nuggies, Bucky's Nuggies. These are white cheddar. I got these for the babe and then for us bold and spicy. I got a sliced sausage sandwich and Peter got a pulled pork sandwich. I got these sweet and dried banana chips. I figured everybody can have these. And this is what I got at the checkout aisle. A Rice crispy treat with fruity pebbles in it. I'm always looking for these at Disney because they used to make them. I don't know if they still do or if I just don't see them but whoa. Ah! <laughs> this little one is fighting sleep. Found a spoon to play with. We're like an hour away from our destination. Ah! You be careful. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I did it. Don't do it, girl. Don't do it. <laughs> we got it. Jordan. What are these called? We're right here back at the Curry's. And Brooks and Kelsey are here, new friends. Mm -hmm. um, it's the closest we can get to um, Gideon's here in Atlanta. <laughs> nice. It's fancy because there's no E. Yeah, and we <laughs> forgot to show them when they were full. But the one that was missing is the peach, did you say? Peaches yes. and cream. Peaches and cream. Yeah. You they were all really good. Here. Oh, yeah. So good. What a welcome. Eve has made herself at home at Jordan and Roberts, and so have we. I'm going to do a sign off. For this portion, I don't know, we haven't talked about it, Sarah and I are combining this vlog. So here ends Saturday's adventure. Brooks, Kelsey, great finally meeting you in person. Jordan, Sands, Robert, thanks for hosting us. And uh, here's to another 12 hours in the car tomorrow. Good morning from the road. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy today's video, make sure you come back every day. Hey. Throwback. Hit up McDonald's. Hit up McDonald's. Hit up the gas station. I have the gas station. On the road. Mm-hmm. Mountains, here we come. Sleepy little one. One. Sleepy little one, two. Welcome to the mountains, y'all. I don't know why I said y'all. I'm not a southern boy. I was born in the south. Anyway, Sarah's been editing, James has been sleeping, Eve's been sleeping, so I've been going stir crazy by myself in the front. But we are out of Georgia, in Tennessee. Look at those rocks. Those are nice rocks. I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder. Here are the girls outside taking a break. In all reality, Sarah, all, we need a guest, Sarah, need, we need a break. Um, and switch, but Sarah also needed an electrical outlet because she had it was about 30% exported on the vlog and the computer died. So she's in the McDonald's love station exporting that while we get him a break from the car seat and Eve a little break. We're probably like 30 minutes south of Nashville, so a pretty good time. Um, well, as long as we don't hit traffic through that city, we'll be really good. I need a break from that drive though. You're still in your jammies. You've been snoozing. 
Übrigens, Möse. Is that fun? That's for your puppy. <laughs> Evie just had some fun in this little dog park. Oh gosh, are you gonna drive? Gonna drive the rest of the way home? We got like eight hours to go. Sounds like a lot, but maybe that'll just mean like two more stops, three more stops. We're coming up on this cool steel bridge because there's some work going on. If you can miss see it, it's hard to see on the camera. There's a one singular arch bridge, that's Interstate 24. That's closed right now for some updates. This is crazy. So we're going across this old steel and concrete bridge, but so was like the entirety of the population to cross the Ohio River. This is a crazy bridge. Oh, we are very high on a very Across from Brookport, Illinois now. This is small town America, that's for sure. Wow, I dig it. We have like five more miles until we're back on the interstate. Oh my word, we just ordered $30 worth of Dairy Queen. I don't think I've ever eaten food there. I've only had ice cream I've never there. Had anything. And I ordered no, a vanilla there burger, was when I would go which to apparently is a cup of ice cream. Um, at softball tournaments and one of the places in the summer there would be a uh, Dairy Queen. And so McDonald's, we've had twice this road trip. Yesterday and today. Yesterday, one of my burgers did not have a patty on it. And then this morning, I just got a totally wrong order and they gave me warm orange juice. They, their Coke machine was not working. So I have warm orange juice. So we were like, there's McDonald's and a DQ. We're like, we're going to DQ. $30 later we got a lot of extra those and we'll share with the baby Thank there's three goodness. of us that eat real food now um, but I got a thin mint Girl Scout cookie blizzard which I'm pretty pumped about and we also got pretzel sticks and Jamesy boy is just having lunch on his own he's a big kid look who's back in the driver's seat Hello. 6 p.m. got 116 miles to go James' boy just was not too happy, but we're giving him a little snack. Um, Eve has also succumbed to cabin fever, but we're getting there. It actually wasn't too bad of a drive, has it been no, for you? No, I think that we're just tired overall from the trip and running out. I'm not as tired as I am, just like, I'm just ready to be out of the car. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm saying like, after a trip, it's like more... She's trying to get fish. It's always more exciting to drive to your vacation yeah. than it is driving back. But uneventful. We've steered clear of a lot of bad weather that's been going on in the um, country. So that's all I know. Just like that, we're back in Chicago. All fun for you guys. We had a nice 20 hours for us in the car. Last piece of this puzzle keeping our fingers crossed that we find a really good parking spot to unload. This isn't everything, but after about 30 minutes I found a spot. It's the it's that last Sunday, I think, of Pride. Or I don't know if it's the last one or not, but it's bumping our neighborhood. But here's the train I had. This is most of it. I have to come back for a few stragglers. He's back in his bouncy with the goofy movie on. Having an allergic reaction to Evie. That has not happened in a while. Ooh, blur. We got our AC going. Eve is making her way to the window. Peter just ran out to get the last of what's in the car. I think it's really just the cooler. Um, we have no food. Like, I have some frozen vegetables. And I mean it when I say that's the only thing in our freezer besides my frozen breast milk. Um, and in the fridge, there's one kombucha and our condiments. But literally, we have zero food like fresh um but we ate a decent amount on the road today so we should be okay with just snicky snacking <laughs> you are so cute 
That's his newest face. Did you miss your toys? We were gone a long time. All right, it is 10.45. Um, it was a long day and an early start. We have to actually get up early tomorrow because it's the drive to the suburbs um, to Sarah's mom's house where Christina and the kids are at. Um, her sisters have a meeting tomorrow and Sarah's gonna run some errands in the suburbs. So we have to get there before I start my work day. So we didn't really get to do much unpacking. Um, so it'll be a, probably a hectic start to the morning. So we're gonna go to bed now. But I get to do something that I haven't done in a while. Check it out. We're gonna do. We need to get back on top of this. I feel like I'm not myself with this calendar. June 27th by Anonymous. Do something today that your future self will thank you for. You know what? Going to bed at a reasonable time for the Burkharts will help us tomorrow. And with that, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>